What's up, everybody? Happy Friday. How are you all doing? Sorry for the bit of a late start. Hope everyone had a good week. It is, as you know, Friday, which means bourbon with Midnight Hatter. Um, I know that my schedule is way out of date. I should be doing some, uh, some tabletop RPG action, but uh, I just have not had time to put together a decent module of Gundam 5e to run for you guys. There's, you know, we've been talking about maybe um, playing with some of the playing with some of the mechanics, exploring some new options with that. And as we get into that, uh, you know, we'll probably hop into the old uh, the old idea of that big West Marches campaign. But that is all irrelevant to what we are doing here, which, as you know, there is going to be a remastered version of the Mass Effect trilogy, the, the good Mass Effects, um, that's going to be coming out, I guess it's slated for this year, and in honor of that, I'm going to, you know, play through the classic. Last time we left off, I think that my, uh, my laptop died and we had to cut things short. So I think we're moving on to Pharos and Noveria. Let's see here. Just want to make sure that we are looking good. We are live. Do let me know if uh, the audio and video look good. Says that the stream's unstable, but, uh, you know. I can't tell if it's the stream itself, the bitrate that's unstable, or if it is, in fact, uh, just me that's unstable, and they're just reading my mind. <laughs> What's up, Zev? How's it going? That's good to hear. That's good to hear. No complaints out there in the wide world. Not that anyone would listen to us if we did complain. Oh yeah, I think that before uh, I was in the process of trying to take out that uh, that gang of mercenaries, and I remember dying several dozen times. So, the question is, are we going to move to Pharos or Noveria? Are we going to take on the Rachni Queen or the Thorium? <clears throat> For everyone in chat, do let me know whether you would prefer to go to Pharos or Noveria. Oh yeah, you're probably going to hear the dogs going crazy. I thought about, uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. Hey, uh, bark alert. Your dog is barking. You do Pharos first. I'm into that. I like Pharos. Um, both of them just have such, uh, awesome, awesome storylines. I mean, really, the, the Mass Effect... Uh, the storylines are perfect, really, when you get right down to it. Uh, you know, you've got one system that's under attack by, like, an alien force. You've got one system that's under attack by, like, a mind control force. So you have, like, a variety of um, different typical sci-fi tropes. Um, now, before I go straight to Pharos, I do want to hit up the planets in the surrounding area. Oh. I always do that. I always hit B instead of X. And... Uh, hey, what's up, Ryan? You're right. This isn't KOTOR. This is, uh, you know, another... Um, another Bioware classic, as it were. 
Um, Mrs. Hatter could not join me this evening. She is going to be on dog wrangling duty. And honestly, you know, of the selections that, uh, that we were going to play this evening, she probably would have had the most fun playing Mario U. Um, I think that this would have been the least fun game for her to play because in a lot of ways you can tell that there's that EA influence on the game. I was thinking about this earlier today is the fact that like in Mass Effect 1 when you enter like your you know bullet time mode where you start issuing commands and you're like hey you cast lift you cast uh, overload I'm gonna use sabotage and then we all it reminds me of playing Madden NFL. Like, I feel like I'm running plays. Like, all right, it's fourth and one. I'm going to run a screen pass to the right, except I'm going to fake to the left with a jet screen, and, uh, you know, we're going to totally shut these guys down. And, uh, yeah, it. I can see how it takes the fun out of it for some people, um, as opposed to, like, the, the shooter style of... Mass Effect uh, 2 and 3. I don't remember having having to manually exit the ship, though. I think we already talked to Presley about his racism. Yes, sir. Let's have a chat with Joker. Just make sure that... Uh... Commander, something you need? As it turns out, no, yeah, Joker. There's nothing I need from you. Um, interesting. I don't... I, I feel like... And maybe this is just me getting uh, poisoned by the later games, but I feel like when you went to a system that was like a... Uh, that was like a storyline quest system, it was... You, you just automatically exit the Normandy. You didn't have to manually exit. Yo, <laughs> what's up, Ash? How's it going? Um, all right. So I know that this is probably not the best way to go, but you all know how much I love my girl Tally Zora. Uh, so she's coming with me no matter what. The question is, am I bringing my boy Garrus? Am I bringing BFF Kaidenelenko or Liara Tisoni? Ashley's just right out. I'm at, Ashley's going to stay on the ship. She's going to hang out. Uh, Rex, I mean, I haven't decided whether I'm going to let Rex live or die yet. <laughs> I hear some hounds barking upstairs. What do you guys think? Who should I bring down to Pharos with me, along with Tally? Check it out. That's what's up, Zev. Garrus all the way. I bring Cassus Fett mod. <laughs> A science wizard man. I would bring Candorous Ordo. If this were if this were Knights of the Old Republic, Candorous every time, always. Um, the commanding officer is ashore. Exo Presley has the deck. Hey, thanks, Ash. The Totus Ritter is probably right up there in my top three favorite Xeon mobile suits, for sure. So I am in love with some Totus Ritter. I have not finished building it yet. Uh, I did want, I, I made a little bit of progress, like I made the arms, but I, I want to finish the kit on stream, even though like everybody's already released their, their reviews of it, and I'm sure that some people have already finished customizing it or whatever, you know, I'm going to take my time because, you know, I have a, I have a day job. <laughs> don't bring any meat bags. Well, sadly, I don't have an HK-47. Who's Vidan? 
Who's Fidan? He's our leader. He needs your help to prepare for the Geth. They're making another push. Please, up the stairs past the freighter. Oh, oh, okay. We're gonna go right into it. Geth time. See, and this is what I'm talking about. It's like, all right, we're gonna run the play. I want you to run a post route. I am going to pass to the wide receiver on the left-hand side. Boom. Execute. God, I love radioactive rounds. Freaking badass. Poor, poor guy. He just, he just got, like, evaporated. All right. Tally and Garrus, you used all your powers. Look at that. You know, you, like... You blew your load. And let's see. Can't wait to see build. Hey, thanks, Ash. I cannot wait to finish building it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. Um, as it's a P Bandai kit, I'm like, do I want to customize it or do I just want to build it, panel line it, leave it alone? It's hard to say, because I, you know, I'm prone to uh, fucking up kits, so, uh, alright, there we go. Actually preparing a fake new core Gundam custom with a narrative Gundam custom, I hope this will work. That sounds pretty sweet. Um, there, there's a thing going around, uh, my friend Ben, um, follow him on Instagram, Spartan Zero. Uh, Spartan Zero has put together a core Gundam wing. It's part of the core Gundam challenge, right? Where you take the core Gundam and you build a version of the core Gundam based on an existing Gundam model kit. So my challenge to myself is I want to build a core Zeta Gundam. And basically what you do is you take the the calf and feet, and then of course like the, uh, the forearms and hands of a bigger model kit, like an HG kit, and you take the core Gundam and you hollow out that, that section so that you can create a core Gundam that morphs into a, uh, the Gundam that you like. Yeah, see, exactly. So I, I have dreams of making my own core Zeta. Hey, cheers. Love Zeta Gundam. So because I broke my initial um, real grade Zeta, uh, I have dreams of using a core Gundam to make a core real grade Zeta. At least that's the dream. Let's use sabotage on this sucker. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Look at this fool. Just sitting here, waiting for me to blow him up. Ooh, a core high gog actually might be pretty sweet. So, so I told um, fellow Gundam and Twitch streamer Unusualist Pyro that he should take his, uh, that he should make a core man roadie. Bloody dangerous. Uh, my leg! Uh, I was a specter like you, till I took a shot in the knee. I'm still so embarrassed that I never realized that uh, an arrow in the knee was a... Was a euphemism for marriage. Shame. Shame on me. Well, yeah, I know that. I shot a bunch of them. Let's do some easy decryption over here. Ooh. 
The cargo logs. While decrypting these logs, you found something suspicious. Several months worth of human rations were delivered to an uncharted world in the Voyager cluster. The logs aren't clear, but it appears that may be dropped off in the, somewhere in the Amazon system. Looks like they got Amazon primed some human rations. That didn't come out as, as menacing as I had hoped. <laughs> All right. So I feel like they're just not going to talk to me until I talk to Fidan. Oh, Commander. I'm glad they finally sent somebody to help us. You're a bit late, aren't you? Arcelia. Not a huge fan of new Gundam series, Everyone's but core Gundam has some Look possibilities. We've got Gat in the tower. I'm right there with you, Ash. You see, you see your bust. Oh, whoa, okay. I was worried that I was gonna crash there. I don't think I've suffered too many crashes, but uh, even so. Yeah, I, uh, I myself am a UC purist. Um, but while I acknowledge that there are some sweet designs that come out of, like, the build series, you know, I don't know. I feel like there has to be some kind of reason for, uh, Camille to have used a core Zeta Gundam. I don't know. Yeah, you thought you could get away from me, sucker. All right, fine, Dan. Protect the heart of the colony. Space guts is the reason we have you. Hey, you should. Like I said, I will always respect that uh, Iron Blooded Orphans got a whole new generation of Gundam fans into Mobile Suit Gundam as a franchise. Don't let me die. But oh, I, yikes! <laughs> I didn't want to let you die. Uh, you died on your own. That was your prerogative. But, uh, yeah, you know. I just don't think that Iron-Blooded Orphans holds up to the original. And it's not just because I'm a boomer. It's not just because I, uh... Although I am a boomer, we'll, we'll be honest. You know, I'll own up to it. But, uh... Yeah. It just does not do it for me the way that, uh... That the UC series do. It's like, imagine if, uh, what? <laughs> Damn K-board. Now, if I AI hack this recon drone, do you think it's going to make a different difference? Probably not. Yep, she killed it anyway. Thanks, Tally. Thanks for killing my AI hacker. You stupid bitch. One thing about the Geth, man, is that they do not use any kind of, uh... They do not use any kind of, uh... Organic hurting weaponry. Which is surprising. You would think that the Geth, the inorganic race, would use all kinds of toxic radioactive materials. Things that would, you know, hurt organics hurt the meat bags, if you will. Uh, but 
Oddly enough, they only use things that hurt other machines. Let's see. Uh, Gundam Wing Boomer. Every American Gundam fan has to like Wing. Yes. Uh, man, you, you're you just like nailing me to a chalkboard with that like... Yes, I liked Gundam Wing just like all the other kids. Even, uh, even heroes, edgy, I will kill you rants. Although, of the Gundam pilots, the only one that I really liked was Wu Fei. From Gundam Wing, I mean. From Gundam Wing, the only pilots that I liked were uh, Wu Fei. But I really identified with Trey's. Trey's Kushinata was my guy, man. You know, um, hard to speak English with a French keyboard. Fair enough. It is hard to speak English with an English keyboard, so <laughs> you're all right. I did not get into Double O, uh, but of all of the AUs, I mean, compared to say like Seed, Double uh, O seems to be one of the more widely accepted AUs. So it actually seems like it was a good idea. See, I don't, I don't remember. Ooh, do I want to go to the Prothean Skyway just yet? I kind of feel like I need to go back. Oh shit! Wrong button. That's a grenade. So anyway, <laughs> uh, let me look at the map here. So, Zoo's Hope is where, and then this is where I fought all those Geth. Okay. So I need to go back to Zoo's Hope. Yeah, I get so, uh, I get so disorientated. I get discombobulated. The tower's secure. Thanks to you, Commander. I'm just glad your colony is safe. Glad to help, Commander. I appreciate your concern and your efforts against the Geth. They may have been slow, <laughs> but they'll be back. Wing they'll is definitely, definitely part of all of our childhoods. Help me find From the first time that old Toonami Tom uh, introduced it to us over here in the U.S., <laughs> the latest chapter in the classic mecha saga, Gundam Wing. What's Exogenic? Double O was my first Gundam series. Double O season one still can be every time down. Ending. Exactly right. Exactly right. Then maybe I can get yeah, and, and that's that's the thing that I respect about Gundam Wing for the West, right? Is it's like, you know, Gundam Wing did in the West what IBO did for the current generation of Gundam fans. Is it opened them up to the world and said, hey, there's this sweet mecha anime that you need to check out. For all the people that sit there and say, like, Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans is the best... You're wrong. <laughs> Just like I was wrong when I was 13, and I was like, Gundam Wing is the best! It's like, no, no, no. You need to pump the brakes, kid. Go check out 0079. Colonial affairs back on Earth told us we'd be beneath the notice of any raiders. I guess they weren't counting on the get. But, despite everything, there's something Oh, yeah, but, uh... Yeah, what I was saying is I, I expected, I, I didn't remember exactly, I thought that Pharos was going to be a more uh, organic fight than synthetic, so I didn't expect that bringing Tally was going to be that helpful. The Normandy isn't huge, but we could airlift you out. The Geth fighters are too dangerous. 
and I won't be driven off this world. It is our home. <laughs> There's a chance for growth here that's simply not available on other worlds. Uh, whatever you say, Fidan. <clears throat> Exogeny funded this colony. Without them, we wouldn't be stuck here. They specialize in colonization. In return, oh, 100%. The colony, and the music in Gundam Wing, I think that a, a, lot of, a lot of people don't give Gundam Wing enough credit when it comes to the music. Because when that, uh, when that song hits and the wing transforms for the first time and it's... As she said, we never found and then tra transforms, shoots down those three Leos. It's pretty sick. I'll talk to you when I learn more. Good luck. <laughs> Later, Tater. So I think that that is everything that I needed to deal with, right? Like, I can move on. I don't have to, uh... Let's clear destination. We can move on through this. Let's level up real quick, just in case. Um, is there anything that I can get for two points? Omni gel or pistols? Uh, let's go with some decryption. And, oh. Huh, my boy has some more... Some more level ups to get. Four points. We can probably do the assault rifle and the tactical armor. Oh my goodness, I've been neglecting my poor Talizora. And let's throw her one more point in pistols. Your reaction to people pushing AUs, especially see Destiny, is like someone excusing Burks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, berserk. The difference is that Yoshiyuki Tomino didn't decide, oh, I'm going to stop making Gundam because I want to, you know, play Idol Master. Yoshiyuki Tomino was like, hey, all this money and fame cured my depression, and uh, I don't feel like I need to make Gundam anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to make some weird... Some weird sham of a Gundam, which is, you know, G Reco. Oh, whoa, hey, easy, easy now, easy. I feel like I'm talking to my dog. <laughs> easy, girl. Don't know how much more you can take. It was one guy. It was one guy! You... You failure! Ugh. <laughs> G-Reco. G-Reco should be uh, censored by Twitch. It should be... It should be an insta-ban. Honestly, I should be kicked off. I should be kicked off for at least three days... 72 hour ban for <laughs> saying the words G Reco. Okay. <laughs> hey, easy there, Chief. Tomino gave us the best anime mech, well, the best anime series of all time. Uh. So I was listening to, and this is like an outdated, um, this is an outdated reference, but I was listening to people talking about uh, the Avengers Infinity War, 
and they were discussing the fact that, like, you know, in the comic books, Thanos, uh, you know, Thanos was not some weird, like, space egalitarian. He wasn't interested in bringing balance to the universe. All he wanted was to get his girlfriend's attention, right? All he wanted was to please death. This smoking hot, uh, anthropomorphized version of the concept of death. Oh gosh, oh gosh. This is, this is just terrible. This is terrible! Ah! At least that was what the comic books were about, right? Is Thanos was like, I'm in love with death and I want to please her, so I'm gonna kill half the universe. And then you look at the Marvel movies and they're like, oh, uh, there's not enough resources in the galaxy to support life. We need to, we need to create perfect balance. And it's like, what's more believable though? Is it the Zeta Gundam story of, oh, you know, I'm in love with this girl and she doesn't love me back and uh, oh, that guy went off the fucking bridge. <clears throat> oh shit, what am I missing here? Do not speak ill, yes. Uh, yeah, did you watch Berserk? I remember you said you hadn't. Yes, uh, I have not watched Berserk. However, uh, what I know of Berserk is that it is not as good as Zeta Gundam. <laughs> Although both of them share a common uh, a common theme of, you know, just realism in human interaction. You know what I mean? It's the same thing like I was talking about with Thanos, is it's like, I much more strongly believe that Thanos would be willing to kill half the universe over a woman than I do believing that Thanos would kill half the universe over some, like, cockamimi scheme to say, oh, well, we need to redistribute uh, all, of the, all of the resources of the galaxy. We need to make sure that they are evenly distributed across all platforms. It's like, no. He was in love with death. Even to the point that in the comic books, he created a... Uh, if I remember correctly, Nebula, Thanos created Nebula as like a wife for himself to like make death jealous. And correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but Thanos did in fact make himself a wife to make death jealous. And, uh, but even so, she was like a hollow, a hollow interpretation of what a person could be. Because you can't just make a person out of thin air, you know? They have to have free will. They have to have, uh... No, yeah, you, you know what? It wasn't Nebula. I forget her name. But Thanos did create... Yeah, love has reasons. 100%. How's it going, Titanic? Welcome to the chat. I will try to refrain, refrain from swearing too much, but no promises. Uh-oh. We've got movement. They must be close enough to see us. Dealing with the gap is more important. Tolly, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, sister? So this is where we talk to all the exogeny uh, employees. We were just following orders. We were just following orders. That's close enough. Relax, Jong. They're obviously not Geth. Get back, Juliana. Who are you? What do you want? <laughs> Interesting. I've heard I've heard similar things about Berserk. Commander Shepard. Commander Shepard. And this is my favorite colony outside the Citadel. And you 
trust too easily, Juliana. I'm just glad to see a friendly face. I thought we were the only humans left on this planet. By Dan and some of the members. Of In case you guys are wondering, I'm going full good guy on this, uh, except for the romance arc. I am taking some. Uh, some suggestion from the chat as far as the romance arc. Or, if you guys do uh, want to, let me know in the chat if you guys do want to participate a little bit and uh, steer which way I go with the chat windows. Because um, if so, I'm, I'm totally cool going full renegade. But, uh, you know, Paragon seems the way to go. I'll do whatever I can to keep them away from me, but I need some information. What kind of information? Ignore him. The Geth are up in the Exogeny headquarters, just a bit further along the Skyway. Those headquarters are private property, soldier. Remove the Geth and nothing else. Ah, good night, Ash. Um, if I knew how to say good night in French, I would. But, uh, I hope that you will slay your unicorn and, uh, build the perfect narrative Gundam. Um, let me know which one you have, whether it's the, uh, if you're, if you're on the Discord, definitely hit me up and let me know about whether, um, whether you've got, like, the HG, uh, A packs, C packs, B packs, you know, all the good stuff. <whistles> Night, brother. Hey, what's up? How's it going, Hobby Hero? Good to see you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hi, baby. Hi, sweet girl. Oh my goodness. I know. I know, Cinderella. Oh, Koopy. Oh, I've got a Coop and a Cinderella. I'm just spoiled. Bonnet. <laughs> well, then I will need uh, a little help with the pronunciation there, because I think Bonnit is probably not correct. Commander, before you go... <laughs> but, good night, Ash, and thank you for stopping by. Would you guys stop growling at each other? Ah. Where is your daughter, Juliana? She was working in the Exogeny building when the attacks came. Oh, yeah, there were several places she could hide. On top. She's in there. I'll get her out. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not pronounced tout. Um, I speak German and Spanish. What was the building used for? And English, obviously. Uh, but French is a language that I'd love to learn, along with Japanese and uh, and Italian. The company has to make a profit somehow, Juliana. Pharos is a long way from self-sufficient. Where is your daughter, Juliana? Somewhere at the Exogeny headquarters, I hope. Do not learn Dutch. It's awful. Well, I will, uh... <laughs> I'll take your word for it. Um, you know what? I actually need to fire something up real quick. No, you know what? I don't have time. I don't have time for this. Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, anime sub is definitely help. I find out what the Geth are after. Of course. And please remember, if you see my daughter. Ethan Jong. Wait, Gavin Hassel? I was hoping you'd have a moment to speak with me. I've got a bit of a problem. Of course. Need? I need to retrieve some data. 
It's not a big job, but it pays well. Sounds easy enough. What's the catch? No catch, really. It's dangerous work, but not for someone like you. What is it about you that makes people assume we enjoy being in harm's way? It's not that bad, really. All you need to do is find my console at Exogeny headquarters and drop the data onto this OSD. It's that <laughs> Look me in the eyes if you're going to ask me to drop data onto your OSD. You're sitting there like... Get out of here! I might be able to help. I appreciate it. worth a lot of money. It's very difficult, but if you speak German, it should be easier. It's only like one and a half... Here, one quarter of the country. Well, uh... My grandfather I always used to say that uh, German is the language of the scholars. Um, I'm not ex I'm not entirely sure what he meant by that. Um, now you know. I feel like Romantic languages open the doors a little bit more to ancient languages than Germanic languages and Slavic languages, but. I am an idiot. I thought that that was the way out. <laughs> but yeah, and of course, you know, I thought I was being slick back in high school. Oh, I'm going to take Spanish. I'm going to take Spanish. My mother's Mexican, so I'm going to take Spanish and I'm going to it's going to be so easy. My mom's going to help me out. Do you know how many Spanish quizzes I failed because they were like, this is not correct. This is like street Spanish. Like this is like <laughs> this is like slang. <laughs> you're not you're not speaking actual Spanish. Oh my goodness! Gun these suckers down! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oof! Wait, can you voice Gavin as Arnold Schwarzenegger, please? Uh. Tell you what, pick a character more common. If it's Garrus, I, I will voice Garrus as Arnold Schwarzenegger in order to, uh, <laughs> because that way it's a it's a voice that I'll use consistently. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Get to the get trooper. I don't know if I can do a good Arnold. I mean, I know I can do a good Sly. Yeah, if I get the get the palsy look going, Mickey. Shut down the calm. Shut down the calm. Get away. <laughs> I love soccer! Oh my... Oh, whoa! Rockets! Yeah, I think I'm just gonna drive past these guys because this seems dangerous. Yeah, if only the Mako didn't handle like a frickin' skateboard on bungee sticks. Yeah, you see that Medigel? Medigel plus one! You killed someone! Have some, have some health pack! Have some band-aids because you murdered someone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Let's see. Uh, tanks do work well. They do indeed. Do them. <laughs> oh, yeah! Part of doing a good macho man, Randy Savage, is getting the shoulders right because he's got his shoulders real high and tight, and then he comes off the top rope with an elbow drop. Um, I made my wife watch the infamous, uh... <laughs> the infamous cream of the crop promo that uh, Macho Man Randy Savage cut, where he's talking about like, yeah, I'm the cream of the crop, and I'm gonna put this little coffee creamer in your hands, Mean Gene. Oh yeah, and like he's got, he brought like seven coffee creamers with him. Oh yeah, I'm the cream of the crop, and I'm gonna go to the top of the World Wrestling Federation! Oh my god, I think my heart rate jumped, like, at least 20 beats per minute. Alright, nobody distract me. I need to do this right. Easy decryption. Easy, right? It's easy. Yeah! We got a malfunctioning object. Give me all that. No, 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 don't. Just take it. Whoa! I feel like Ralph Macchio. I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Uh, why would they put a Geth armature in here? Oh my God. Oh God. Can I use AI hacking on it? <laughs> Probably not. Tolly, overload him! I'm gonna use my marksman. Gun it down! Oh, Garrus. Garrus, you're poisoned! Garrus, my friend! I can do an Iron Sheik. <laughs> Cream always rises to the top. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Oh, man. 80s and 90s wrestling was like... Peak. Peak personalities. Oof, Tally's not looking hot. I mean, she's always looking hot, but she's not looking healthy. Am I going the right way? It would be pretty, uh, pretty par for the course for me to be lost right now, let's be honest. Don't get me wrong, I don't like games that uh, kind of railroad you into going like, hey, huh, hey, dummy, this is the direction you're supposed to go. But at the same time, having dead ends for the sake of like, oh, look, it's an open world, you have dead ends. It's like, well, don't make a dead end unless it's a legit Oh my god. You guys, this is... Garrus, I'm gonna smack... I'm gonna smack the fins off you. <laughs> One-way drop, Commander. I can't climb four feet up. Like, if I were hanging out with my friends in high school, and we were like, hey, if we jump off this uh, little concrete block, we're not gonna be able to climb back up. Even though it's less than a hand reach up, whatever. You know what? I'm gonna stop bitching. I'm gonna stop being. Roar! 
Anyway, moving on. Don't shoot us, Lisbeth. Your mother forgot to put the E on your name. Don't take that out on me. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay that you fired a lethal weapon at me. Everyone else was running, and I stayed to back up data. Next thing I knew, the Geth ship latched on, and the power went out. I was trapped. I, I tried to get out, but the way was blocked. We'll get you out, as soon as we find out what the Geth are after. It's not the Geth. It's the energy field they put up. They don't want anyone else getting access to the... Oh, I didn't do a very good job of uh, centering my camera then, huh? Let me, uh... Let's bring this over here a little bit. My apologies. You guys don't get to see enough of my ugly face. Oh, yeah, brother. Let's be honest. My favorite, uh, my favorite wrestler of the late 80s, early 90s is always going to be the heartbreak kid, Shawn Michaels. Favorite wrestler of all time, Chris Jericho. But Shawn Michaels, <laughs> he's my dude. It's an indigenous life form. Exogeny was studying it. What is the Thorian? What else can you tell me? Do you know where I can find this Thorian? I, I might be able to, but not with those Geth crawling around everywhere. Look, we need to get out of here, past that field. You know how we can shut it down? No, not exactly. But I think the Geth ship is powering it. I've noticed the Geth laying power cables everywhere. You can follow those cables, but there's Geth all over the place. Gotta follow those cables. Let me see here. Just want to check something out real quick before I move forward in this. Okay, cool. Sounds All good. Right. I'll look into it. Stay put until you the got it. Down. Yeah, you don't have to tell me twice. I'll just find a small hole to hide in until the field is down. Oh, here, take my ID. This should get you past any locked doors. <laughs> That's like such a uh, Hideo Kojima move. <laughs> take my key card. It'll get you past any level four security card doors. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you see the way that Varen went flying? <laughs> oh, oh, hi, Ella. Hi, baby girl. What are you so excited about, baby? No, hey, no pawpaws. No pawpaws. You stay right here, you wild girl. Oh my god. Ella, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. Good girl. Tish a good girl. <laughs> Cinderella, what are you doing? All right. Oh, Cinderella, where are you going, baby? We probably didn't need to heal up anyway. Um, and there she goes. Let's take a look at the old map ski. See what we're looking, see what we're working with. Okay, so we've got uh, an elevator at the far end of the... See, this is the thing about some of these games is, like, they don't give you a clear indication of, hey, by the way, there's an elevator at the far end of the room. Why don't you look around this empty, uh, bombed-out overpass and try and look for something that looks like a room? Stupid 
I am unable to comply, please contact your supervisor. Damn it! Tell me what I want or I'll blast your virtual ass into actual dust! Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption. Or make it a point please contact your supervisor. That's how I feel when I'm trying to stream. STUPID MACHINE! Going to YouTube and to Twitch at the same time! Oh! Oh! Oh, doo doo! He. Oh, oh no. He just ruined my life. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Oh! Why would you hurt me so? Ooh! He just blasted my face off. That's cool. Yeah, poison that sucker. <laughs> Disintegrate into dust. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff <laughs> that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. Welcome back, research assistant Elizabeth Bainham. What can I do for you? How do you know I'm Lisbeth? Your access card identifies you as Elizabeth Bainham. Is there something you require, Dr. Bainham? What information was the last user attempting to access? Fetching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of subject species 37. Species 37. I'm surprised that they didn't go with uh, species 42 because he's the answer to all of the universe and life and everything. There has been no new data available on Will we ever get a <laughs> Chrono Trigger pay playthrough? I don't have Chrono Trigger. Um, but if you uh, truly do, ooh, all sensors have been monitoring observation posts at Zeus Hope. What does Zeus Hope have to do with the Thorian? The Thorian has been using mind powers. Urgh, give me the minds. Tell me everything you know about the Thorian. The Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a Honestly, I've been thinking about actually doing a Vagrant Story playthrough. Let me know down in the comments below if you want to watch me struggle through a session of playing Vagrant Story. The story of Ashley Riot versus Sydney Lostarot or Lossatrot? Lossarot, Lostatrot. Either way, Vagrant Story was one of the OG awesome... JRPGs on the PS1. Are you saying Exogeny knew its people were getting infected? It was deemed necessary to assess the true potential of Species 37. No wonder they were behaving so strangely. Your pilot should be warned. Joker. Come in, Joker. Damn it. That field's blocking us. We need to drop that field and get back to Zeus' home. B.I., what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the facility. I have detected unusual power fluctuations, but am unable to determine the source. We need to find that ship. Let's get moving. Going to standby mode. <laughs> We're going full G.I. Joe on this one. We're going to shoot it until it stops. I know I've talked about this uh, before in the past, but there's a particular episode of the G.I. Joe cartoon from the 80s where I'm like, wait, are the G.I. Joes the baddies? Um, because Cobra decides to make a device. And, you know, I don't remember the exact episode, and I don't remember uh, the exact, like, plot. But I remember watching an episode of G.I. Joe late at night, and there was a storyline in which Cobra created a perpetual energy device, a machine that converted money into raw energy that could be used to power electronics or whatever. And, uh, oh, that's a dead end right there. So Cobra developed this perpetual energy device and the Joes show up and they're like hey 
you can't hold all these countries for ransom for their money and create perpetual energy using their money. And so they bust in and they start shooting everything. And it turns out that Cobra built this device uh, at the base of a volcano. Um, you know, because they're bad guys. And bad guys like to do things in volcanoes. If there's anything <laughs> that sci-fi has taught me, it's that uh, volcanoes plus bad guys equals plotline. So anyway, they built this machine that converts money into power and they they have it at the base of a volcano. Oh, cutscene. Uh, and the G.I. Joes bust in there and they're like, Yo, Joe! Well, not really like that. They use laser guns. But they blow up the machine. Rather than just like, turn it off, they decide to shoot it with their machine guns, thus triggering the eruption of the volcano in which Cobra built the base. And, uh, yeah, is it shocker, <laughs> the volcano erupts and is flooding hot magma onto the village below. Do the Joes care? Well, when it might reflect badly on the Joes, but it's like, you guys, you could have just turned the machine off. You're the ones that came in here with the machine guns and shot everything up and made it blow up inside of my volcano! <laughs> ah! <laughs> anyway. We got a religious temple here. Oh, the Geth. You Geth. You wild and crazy Geth. Give me all that stuff. Give me all your stuff. Garrus glowing orb. It is weird that, like, the Geth would worship a glowing orb. Ooh. Electricity. Tally, I'm gonna need you to overload. I'm gonna sabotage. We go. Uh, Tally, sabotage, and I will overload. Pop, pop. Oh my goodness. Oh, these stupid Geth ninjas. Yeah, radioactive bullets for the win. <laughs> I volunteer hack GU in Dark Cloud. Yeah. So we got a force field. <laughs> Whoa, Krogan's Krogan incoming. Oh god, oh god, I hate Krogans. I hate Krogans so, so, so much. Like I said, in in Mass Effect 1, Krogans were fucking dangerous! Oh god, that's a grenade. Ah! I'm about to die. I'm dead. I'm dying. I'm dead. Hi, <laughs> Koopy. What are you two doing? Wild pups. Good luck with that field. 
Oh, are you serious? It put us all the way back here? That sucks. Hmm. Yeah, that really does suck. <laughs> wow, did both of my allies die? That's embarrassing. Look at, look at their limp-ass bodies. You idiots. Hey, what are you two doing? You guys might have to suffer through my dogs. Fighting as if this were beyond Thunderdome. God, put me back so far. I don't want to review protocol. I am unable to comply. Please contact your supervisor. Damn it. Tell me what I want or I'll blast you. You have 30 seconds to comply. Please contact your supervisor for a level 4 security exemption or make an appointment with Cooper, leave her alone. Just let her play with the toy. Oh gosh. Watch out. Watch out. Gonna use all of our superpowers. Boom! Run the play. <laughs> okay. He like made me pass out. Exogeny Corporation reminds all staff that the discharging of weapons while on company property is strictly forbidden. VI would like to remind the staff that uh, you are not allowed to kill people. Do you know I'm Lisbon? Hey, hey, Cooper, come here. Cooper, leave her alone. You wild dogs. What information was the last user attempting to access? Patching data. The previous user was attempting to access details on the study of subject species 37, the Thorian. <laughs> Tell me everything you Go on. I was unable to provide the previous user with any relevant data. Aside from lacking proper access, there has been no new data available on Species 37. All sensors monitoring the observation <laughs> at Zoo's Hope have been inactive for several cycles. What does Zoo's Hope have to do with the Thorium? Species 37 is located within the substructure. Coop, Zoo's Coop, Hope leave her alone. Hey, come here. Ella, Ella. Or, you all just don't listen to me. Oh, this is my life. Everything you know about the Thorian. <laughs> the Thorian is a simple plant life form that exhibits a sentient behavior uncommon. I get no respect. No respect. Through dispersion and the eventual inhalation of spores, <laughs> it can affect and control other organisms, including humans. The Zoo's Hope Control Group has yielded. The idea of the Thorian uh, as posited in Mass Effect is Are you saying a very similar to like the. Uh, it was deemed necessary to assess the true potential... What is it called? Whatever the cephalopods are called, the fungus that can control crab brains. Joker. Come in, Joker. Damn it. That field's blocking us. We need to drop that what is it called? The name is, like, right on the tip of my tongue. B.I., what can you tell me about the Geth ship and the field it's generating? I have limited data on the Geth. They have effectively blocked all sensors within the cordyceps. The cordyceps. Power fluctuations, but I'm it is a uh, is a fungus that can control the brains of I I forget whether it's crabs or ants, but it's a fungus that actually leads um, higher forms of organic life to their own demise by basically hijacking their brain and forcing them to. Uh, Diplomatic advisory warning. 
the following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. <laughs> My fellow Biotic, you've been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world on the Hawking Ada Cluster. Cl Hawking Ada Cluster. If you say so. That just sounds like more people for me to go uh, Epstein. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can get to a decent spot. Come on, y'all. Tolly, I'm expecting you to... Sabotage him again. Bam. And then Tali overload him again. Uh, Garrus open fire like a madman. We got to level up. The Geth use these claws to anchor their ships to the sides of buildings. The Geth don't waste much for that. How do we cut the power if it's coming from the ship? It will be difficult. We can check the other claws for weaknesses, but the Geth are very thorough. Well, I think that this is where I'm going to call this evening's stream, as it seems like I need to go and get these dogs in line. Um, but... This has been a lot of fun. I hope to pick up the Mass Effect Hall of Fame playthrough series here next week as well. Um, I mean, I'm enjoying it. If you guys are, do let me know down in the comments below or in chat or if you are enjoying watching me struggle through classic Mass Effect. Um, in the meantime, I hope you guys had a great week. And uh, thank you guys so much for dropping by and watching me uh, fail through this. Hope you all have a great weekend. And I uh, hope to bring you guys some more new content, whether it is RPG related, video game related, or gunpla related. Let me know what you would like to see more of down in the comments below. I am Midnight Hatter, and I will catch you all later. Thanks. Bye.